Now, are you guys ready to increase the temperature a little bit? Look, the temperature is rising. Temperature up. Because now we're going to talk about how powerful they are. How good are these specializations? And to be clear, before we go into this, I will very quickly explain. We are going to be comparing this to the current meta, right? So in other words, we're going to be comparing these to Path of Fire, Heart of Thorns, and Core. The other thing to note is, by the way, actually, is take all of this with a bit of a grain of salt. We've got to edit this to the start of the video almost. Because I am actually expecting there to be very significant balance changes. Okay, very significant changes um, to PvE especially. I actually think that in PvE, everything is probably going five target. One thing to really note about these Ender Dragons Elite Specializations is that all of them are five targets. Okay? And that to me implies that in PvE, there's going to be an apocalypse. There's going to be an apocalypse. And I do think that means that, especially in PvE, these things are going to be better than they seem right now. And another, okay, another really big caveat here as well. I'm going to be rating these not in like the theoretical meta, in the pug meta. In other words, how powerful I see these things being in normal guild wars. Not like ultra high level guild wars, normal guild wars. How often are you going to see people play this, right? For a uh, good example, right? For example, Weaver is pretty good, right? Um, in normal, you know, in high level guild wars. You know, you can do great runs on it in fractals. You can do great DPS and raids. But you aren't going to see Weaver a lot, right? Because it's a lot harder to pull off. And it's just a lot less, there's a lot less carry potential. It's, it's just not quite as clean, right? So obviously, even though Weaver is pretty damn good, right? It tends to not show up in normal gameplay, right? Because of the limitations it has. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> For PvE, this is honestly pretty scary. I mean, are, <laughs> are any of them good? Okay, Mechanist. I actually think Mechanist is not bad. It gives alacrity. It heals. Okay, you can do Might. You can do Fury. You can do Protection. You can do Barrier. I think the Mechanist is yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. I, I think it would get a... I think I'd give it a B tier. I'd give it a cheeky B tier, I think. Okay, okay. I think B tier. B tier. Maybe, maybe I'm generous there. Like, take that with a great. It's a low B. It, it's a low. Mechanist is a low B tier. Low B tier, I would say. Blade Sworn, it pumps. It's a big pumper, right? It's got 20k HP. I, I think it deserves. Uh, is it as good as Mechanist? I think that, yeah, Blade Sworn and Mechanist are about on the same level. Pretty big damage. Okay, pumps really hard, right? It's there. It's warrior. You could even take banners on it. Like, as long as banners exist, warrior can't be bad. Impossible, right? Untamed. I think it has to kind of get... I, I think it pumps a fair bit, right? I think it does quite... Doesn't, it doesn't um, untamed do quite a lot of DPS? Or is it not? Right? Like, maybe... I, I think it's C tier. It, it doesn't do anything, right? It's like, imagine if Soul Beast wasn't good, right? Then you'd have untamed, pretty much. So there you go. Boom. Enjoy. Piece of 30k. Oh, 30k? Oh, God, D tier. Oh, 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 my. Oh, I'm sorry. I, oh, 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 my God. Hang on. Sorry, guys. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Putrid, right? New tier is uh, going to be putrid there. Um, it's going in the putrid tier. Okay. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so Harbinger. I think it's B tier. It's, it's B tier again. I don't actually see it seeing that much play. No, it's C tier. The quickness build does like 27k DPS, right? It's like really bad. They nerfed it really hard. No, 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 no. It's not good. It ain't good, guys. It ain't good. It's, it's C tier. It doesn't have, like, compare it to Firebrand. No Aegis. 
No, like, good stability. If you want to take the Elite Elixir and share it, you have to give up Plague Lands and stack even more DPS. Uh, you don't have, like, um, instant AoE healing. You don't have, like, the utility of a Firebrand, right? Or anything like that. You can take Epidemic, which is nice, and you can maybe take Signet of Undeath, but you're insanely squishy, um, and you just lack the complete package that Firebrand has. Compare this to Firebrand, and it's just bad. Honestly, if you put Firebrand next to this, it goes into Putrid tier, honestly. Like, no. No, 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 no. Willbender, I think, is actually Putrid, right? I think? It, it's, it's like, Putrid tier. Um, yeah, the redeeming factor is that it, it pumps really hard. Like, the DPS variant is a lot of damage. But again, DPS is not what you really want in Pugs, right? It's going to be kind of hard to pull off in Pugs. Very, very squishy. Very fragile. No utility, right? Like, stuff like Condi Daredevil and Weaver honestly do a lot of damage, but they don't see a lot of play in Pugs. Why? Because it's too hard to pull off and it requires a good environment. It, it, it's not that good. It, it's C tier. It's C tier, guys. Willbender. It has alacrity now, but it's basically like, imagine if Renegade... Imagine if Renegade was extremely bad. That's basically Willbender. D tier. Virtuoso. I think it kind of goes here with Harbinger. Does a lot of damage. Wait, didn't it get... It got, wait, didn't it get nerfed really hard? Isn't it worse than Power Chrono now, actually? Ooh. Maybe it's D tier. I think, I think it got... I think Virtuoso got hit hard, actually. Like, really hard. It's like... I don't really see much of a reason you would play it over something like Power Chrono or Mirage at this point. Um, I think it has like a very high confusion spike. So there's some potential there, I think, guys, actually. But it has no utility. It literally only does damage. Like, compare that to Firebrand, compare it to Scourge. No, it's not good. Um, right. Ooh, these ones are more interesting, actually. Catalyst Turbo Pump Quickness. This is true. It does a shit ton of damage. It's like 55k DPS, right? Or something like that. And it also does quickness. So, is it ridiculously overtuned right now? Yes. But, but, I'm sorry. It still struggles with kind of the same thing. It really lacks that flexibility, right? It lacks anything else in that like you kind of only do quickness and damage i mean yeah maybe you can stretch you can stretch to like maybe giving some prot on demand i think the design of catalyst really helps it out here a lot actually i'm not giving it s tier no way not even close right not even close i i think we can maybe allow it an a tier but i'm not even sure if it deserves a tier to be honest with you, because I, I think that, again, compare it to Firebrand, I, I think Firebrand is better um, than this. Like, it's it's straight up better. I would I would probably have to give it B tier. Um, I think if you're talking about what's going to generate you a higher win rate in a pug, a Firebrand or a Catalyst, realistically, it's the top of B tier, because I don't think it's a big win rate increase compared to the other things, right? Um, and again, if we if we imagine where Firebrand would be, Firebrand will be S tier, 100%, right? Um, but I'd say, for example, Quickness Scrapper is kind of in the A tier. Is Catalyst better than Quickness Scrapper in terms of generating a high win rate? I don't think so, honestly. I, even though it is a mega pumper, right? It does a, it does a shit ton of damage, right? It really does. Um, but it, I, I think that's going to go down. They're going to nerf that anyway, right? Right. That, that's It's not going to release at 50k, right? No way. Um, so I think it's got to be A tier, right? But there you go. There you go. Um, oh, you guys are twisting my, you're twisting my arm. Okay. That, that you, you guys are selling me on it, but I, I don't think I can give it A tier. I don't think it deserves A tier because I think that, um, Defensive utility is just so much more valuable than DPS. Players are, your average player isn't going to generate, um, it's not, you're not going to get that much damage on it. It's going to underperform compared to Firebrand in Pug Groups, I think. Okay, fine. I'm going to give it a, right. I'll give you guys an A tier just because of how overtuned it is right now. Because of how OP it is and how much damage it does. I will give it A tier now, right? And because otherwise, the Ellie mains, they're going to downstate themselves in real life. Okay, so I, look. I am giving you guys a bone here for the Ellie mains, right? I'm, but listen, just for you, just for the Ellie mains. Okay, um, Vindicator. Vindicator, Vindicator, Vindicator. I honestly don't see it. I don't see this build being good at all. I think its damage kind of sucks. The boon build, eh, eh. 
You have Might and Protection, you Boon Extend. It's, there's potential there, right? There's some potential to it. The heal build is like, imagine if Heal Scourge was really bad, then you would play Vindicator. It might even be Putrid Tear. It might actually be Putrid Tear, to be honest. It may well be. Like, I, I think it's a Putrid build. I don't think it's good. Spectre. Oh, this is going to hurt me because I love Spectre. But in its current state, I don't think Spectre is very good, actually. Um, it got nerfed very heavily. The uh, barrier and quickness got nerfed from uh, three targets to one target. So you give Alacrity, but your support is very lacking. I, I might actually have to give... I may even have to give Spectre like a D tier. I think it's actually not good. Right, it's going to be really hard to use. It doesn't really heal that much. It gives alacrity, but we have Rev. It's honestly close to Putrid, honestly. Like, I, I don't think it's very good. Right, whatsoever. It does damage. It can do a lot of DPS, but... I don't know. It's gonna get nerfed anyway, right? Like, it's gonna get nerfed anyway. Yeah, I think it has to be, like, D tier. I, I, don't, I don't think it's... I don't think it's that good, honestly. Like... The single target, it punishes it a lot, right? In a world where everything is multi-target, being the only single target support is, uh, it's not good, right? If the barrier was, like, splash damage, right, with the beam where you had the barrier, like, AoE, like it was before they nerfed it, then I think it could actually, there could be some potential as a support build. And the resing is pretty good, like, the actual, like, hard resing is nice, but again, it's just not as good as Heal Scourge, right? Like, this is maybe, like, a high D, D tier, right? It's, it's not great. Not great at all. And yeah, guys, DPS is important, but honestly, in pug groups, it's not that important. Um, and again, that's all going to get nerfed. Like, all the damage is going to get nerfed pretty hard. Honestly, this is very, this is extremely generous to Catalyst. I'm only doing this because I love the Ellie mains and I care about them, right? If, 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 if the Ellie mains weren't looking, I would put it in B tier, right? Honestly, I, I, this is, this is insane, right? Disclaimer, I, if the Ellie mains weren't here and they were going to cyber bully me, I'd put it in B tier, right? Just to be clear. And also, by the way, if they nerf Catalyst's DPS by, let's say, 10, 15, 20k, this goes into C tier, honestly, right? Um, like it, it, It's honestly, like, it's scuffed, right? So if they actually nerf the damage a lot, note to future people, if it goes down to, let's say, 35k DPS while it's giving quickness, it's immediately into C tier, if not D tier, by the way. The only reason we're giving it a high rating is because it has busted DPS and like 50k or something ridiculous, right? Like that. It's like ridiculous um, how much damage it is. So be aware of that, okay? But that's it. That is the PvE, kind of endgame PvE style tier list situation, okay? For Ender Dragons.